thought it was completely outrageous. by releasing the glutamate neurotransmitter. We may even have some hallucinations. One decision, four badges disgraced. We are ashamed, we're sickened, and we're angry. Decisions made in the moment. Decisions that tarnished an image. And they smiled right into the camera, right into the face of his mother, into your face, into mine. Time is up, APD. All of the officers who are involved should be fired. News that dominated Denver's discussion. They need to be charged. The police chief called taking those photos a crime against humanity. And spread across the world. Hundreds of protesters demanding justice for Elijah McClain. Elijah McClain! A worldwide community calling for people behind the badges to be held accountable. Fire them. And pressure mounted. More than four million worldwide signatures demanding change. Shame on all of you! And accountability followed. It's reprehensible and that's why they no longer work here. But the impact of those pictures and that decision now goes beyond the Aurora Police Department, beyond the streets of Aurora, and into this list of felony cases uncovered by Denver 7 Investigates. The industry of true crime is booming making money off murder like it or not there's groups of people out here who idolize high profile killers and serial killers odds and ends from infamous killers selling online a healthy chunk of charles manson's hair letters artwork and even a prison badge several of them tracking back to colorado christopher watts here and you can see some of his letters here random items raising disturbing questions from my perspective, you just shouldn't be able to rob, rape, and murder and then turn around and make a buck off of it. When I turned my head and I saw, oh my God.